In 2016, a heartbreaking image captured the world's attention. A Danish aid worker giving water to an emaciated naked child abundant in Nigeria after being accused of witchcraft. Many of you may have already seen this photo which went viral, but not everyone knows what happened to this little boy in 7 years since he rescued. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notification as I upload the new video. Even though it's illegal to label a child as a witch in some part of Nigeria, particularly Aqua state, where this boy was found, the practice still persists in some communities. Belief in witchcraft affect people worldwide. Children accused of being witches are often ostracized and abandoned by their families and communities. They also get murdered in some cases without any support these children are at extreme risk of death from malnutrition. They are also denied access to education as school will not admit children suspect of witchcraft. In Nigeria, religious leaders frequently charge young children with witchcraft in order to get their parents to pay for an exorcism. Unfortunately, it's frequently occur that parents are unwilling to pay for the service or the lack of fun to do so. In the event that they are accused of being witches, they decided to just give up on their child. The boy's parents in the picture were not an exception. All they did was abandon their son to the street after he was suspected of being a witch. Thus, the emaciated little boy who had no access to food or water was on the verge of starvation. According to reports, he had been living alone for almost eight months, scrounging through the trash for food scraps and eating leftover from other people. And no one seemed to pay attention to the poor kid. People just walked past him and it is not hard to guess that what would happen to that child if the Danish volunteer from the ad organization named Anja hadn't noticed the starving abandoned child on one of the dusty roads. Seeing the little boy on the street, the women immediately stopped the car and carefully gave the water to the child, after which she picked him up and took him to the nearest hospital where the boy was prescribed treatment. The boy had to get the treatment for gastric parasites and needed blood transfusion to combat red blood cell deficiencies and that was the only part of what he needed treatment for. Soon after the rescue, Anja shared the video of herself giving water to the little boy to raise awareness about the tragic problem of the child witches and to raise money for his medical needs. The photos and videos went viral and the little boy's story touched the heart of millions. The boy's story inspired people to donate over 1 million to African Children's Ed Education and Development Foundation, a non-profit founded by Lawin that rescued Nigeria. Nigerian so-called witch children. Soon after this, Anja decided to adopt him and named him Hope. She said, The day I carried this sweet little boy in my arms for the very first time, I was so sure that he would not survive. Every breath he took was a struggle, and I did not want him to die without a name, without dignity, so I named him Hope. Two months after starting treatment, Hope made a full recovery. Since then, he has undergone an incredible transformation. He has regained his former strength and smile, and even play with other children. Little Hope stayed in the family type orphanage where Anja stepped into perform the role of his mother. A year later, the boy had recovered completely and even started school. Judging by his footage, you can see that Hope is now completely healthy and doesn't look anything like the poor child which was found on the road. Since 2016, Hope has been living in the orphanage that Anja and her husband opened in southeastern Nigeria for the children who ended up on the street due to superstitions. They all live as one big family there and every child is treated like their own, getting lots of love and affection which is exactly what they needed so much. Looking at this photo where Hope is smiling sweetly, looking into his eyes, it's hard to believe that someone could have accused this sweet child of witchcraft and left him to certain death. Just one year of love and care showed the child a completely different way of life. Enja is also married to a Nigerian man named Dad and together they run the help center for abandoned babies. Children there get food, shelter, medical treatment, and education. In 2022, Hope reunited with his father in the Facebook post. Anja shared the photo of the Hope with his father, and the boy looked happy to see him. Anja says, When we came back, Hope took my phone, and he was so excited and showed the children the picture of him and his father. In September 2023, Lawin revealed the Hope had finally met his mother. 
According to the ad worker, Hope Mother, who was minor at the time, was impregnated by his father, a village head almost 50 years old, who had chosen her as a wife. She gave birth to Hope at the age of only 15. Hope's mother has since stayed with him for a while and developed a close bond with him. It took some time for Hope to forgive her, but in the story, the mother is portrayed as innocent. Today, Hope has grown so much stronger, he still lives in the orphanage and calls Anja his mother. He also to help other children and does everything he can to support the foster parents in their important work. With money from Anja Charitable Foundation in Nigeria, a new orphanage is now being built which is called the Land of Hope. A huge number of people from all over the world made donations to this women with a big heart. People continue to make contribution as much as they can and Anja used the money to save more lives. If you like the video and would like to see more like this, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I release a new video, which happen once a week. I will see you in the upcoming video. Until next time, stay curious.